Okay, they want us to graph this inequality and then tell if the point 1, negative 3 is in this is in this inequality. Let's first find the point, see if it's in there. It's actually quite easy to do. What you could do is plug the x and y value into your inequality. So we have 4x minus 3y. So 4 times x, or 1, because they give you 1 in this point, minus 3 times y, y is negative 3, is that greater than 9? Well, 4 minus 3 times negative 3, that's plus 9, is that greater than 9? Well, yes, it is. 13 is greater than 9. So there you could say, well, therefore, the point is in the inequality, and we'll see that in the graph in a moment. Next, for me, what I like to do when I graph is rewrite in y equals mx plus b format. So that means I want y all by itself. I add 3y to both sides. And I just do that to get rid of the negative 3y, right? I'll turn it to a positive. 9 plus 3y is less than 4x. And then I want to start isolating y to get it in the right format for me. These cancel out. 4x minus 9 equals 3y. But I don't, I don't want to deal with 3y. I want to know what y is. I divide everything by 3. And what that will do is it will set it up so it's 4 divided by 3 right over here. 4 thirds x minus 3 because 9 divided by 3 is 3 equals y. And this is the equation for my line. Now what's nice about this, what I like is that it gives you the y-intercept and the slope. That's why I like this format. So the y-intercept is this number, negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, it's this point right here. Slope is 4 thirds, so up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, over 3, 1, 2, 3. And it's in y, or, or equals, y is less than, less than, not less than or equal to, just less than. So we dot our line here, right, as an approximation. You'll have a ruler, and we shade in everything below it because y is less than it. And you can see that 1, negative 3 would be right here, which is in the solution set of the inequality. So, so just to, to reiterate, you can find out a point is in an inequality by plugging it in. You can also graph the inequality, shade the appropriate region, and see if the point actually goes there.